Hey, it's Mike from Darkest Hour, giving you a little Bus Invaders segment. Uh, we're gonna take you on a tour of the Darkest Hour tour bus. We're here at Reggie's in the south side of Chicago. It's a little cold, but this is how we do it. This is actually not our bus. I'm gonna take you to what we're actually touring in right now. First up, the old standard trailer. We've been calling this the Back to Basics tour because you know, we're tired of like blowing all of our money on tour buses and crazy stuff. And we actually really like hotels because they have hot tubs and room service and you actually feel kind of like a pimp there too. So this is a U-Haul trailer, but it's where the magic happens. Let me take you around to the van. We're parked super close. Get in the van. Welcome to the front of the van. This is actually where all the business goes down. Everybody is in control. This is the head of the ship right here. And we've got our captain, Mr. Tito Pacone. Everybody, he's been touring with us over a decade. Has definitely saved our lives many times, swerving at that wheel right there. It's important to have a good driver, and it's important to have a good system when you're driving yourself on tour all the time. But it's what we like to do. We were born to do this, we were trained. And this is where we spent a lot of our time, you know? I sit up here with my laptop and I just check emails and cruise down the highway and I like the upfront because this is where we jam tunes. We've been actually really uh, jamming a lot of Megadeth because Steve, our sound man, has been kind of just going down a reminiscent road. So we've been jamming So Far So Good, So What by Megadeth. And today we were also jamming some like Scorpions and some Van Halen and some ACDC. Like, we keep it kind of classic up here, but then you'll have your hip hop hour uh, when some of the other drivers get up here. There's some podcasters and there's a couple of death metal dudes and then there's a couple of just uh, mellow guys, but you don't you don't want to listen to anything too mellow because you don't want to fall asleep up here. I definitely don't want to be in that seat if I'm choosing a spot <laughs> because this is the worst spot of the van, but this is a good spot. I would say as you get to the bus tour, you'll see uh, there are other awesome spots to have. I'm not sure if this is the best, but I do spend a lot of time up here because this is the the bridge, this is the head business of the enterprise, center. this is the business center, and this is where the big boys do business. Welcome to the middle of the van uh, on our Bus Invaders tour. Uh, this is actually mainly Tito's spot when he's not driving. I also rotate right here because I like the front bench. I'm a little guy, this is kind of a little guy's spot, but I like to be by the door. But I'm also known as a cover. Okay, and the cove is a very special part of the van I gotta take you to right now. It's uh, my bunk a lot of the times. And what it is is you wanna go down here, right? And uh, actually, if you were gonna cove it up, you'd actually have your pillows, but I'm just gonna give you a demonstration. But what you wanna do is you wanna take a nice pillow and just pull it up down there. And, you know, Sorry. maybe another one. Hold on, my phone's going off. And then, what you do is you get down here. Oh yeah. Man, this is a life down here. I'm just saying like, now I can just pass out for days down here. And if you're a slot side sleeper, you're gonna have to kind of get your knee down there, but kind of do one of those things. But that's bunk too. That's usually my spot because I'm a little guy. Also, this is, this is a point of contention because, you know, a lot of people don't need to be around guitars all day, but... This is my little, little jammer. Anyway, uh, I sit back here and we just play little jams. Obviously, this is also Lone Star's spot because You'll see very unhealthy items like this half drank Pepsi. Oh, cheese combos. This this explains the smell that was coming from back here. Also, what else do we have here? Mike likes to just take his trash. Oh, he took a trip to the border. Here you go. Basically, you can see the diet of our lead guitarist right here, uh, Mike Lone Star Kerrigan. That's basically what he's got fueling the rock and roll every day. So let me take you to the. Uh, the VIP section, um, there are two very VIP people in the band. You think it's all about the guitar, because let's put it, let's put it bluntly, we're kind of cool. But there's actually two more famous people, the drummer and the singer, and they love the back of the bus. So, let me take you back there. Okay. 
So now we're back at Travis Orban's bunk. Uh, basically same thing. Somebody coves it back here. I don't ever get this far deep in the van. But right here, you're about to witness the most coveted spot in the van, the back bench. Currently actually even being occupied because even though we've loaded in, sound checked, and the show is happening, our lead singer still is sleeping there because he's convinced that the longer he stays there, the more everybody else will give up and it will just be his spot. So... Oh God, dude. <laughs> He's a vampire, man. You don't want to go back there, man. So basically, I'm not really authorized to take you farther back than that. So we have to end it here. <laughs> Where are we? Hey, man. It's Mike here. You've been on the old trip around the van. We really liked having you guys here. Make sure you go check out our new album. It's uh, Godless Prophets and the Migrant Flora. It's out on Southern Lord Records. March 10th to all you people, but you can get it on iTunes right now with three extra songs that come right download into you right away as soon as you buy it. Or you get the physical from Greg over there at Southern Lord and you get the picture disc. But make sure you come see us live because that's the only way you can get it right now until March 10th. And thanks for uh, hanging out in the van with us.